Hello, denizens of the internet. Well, today I'm hackintoshing, and I'm going to talk about two solutions that I had to find for DVD burning, because suddenly the Apple software changed and Apple decided that I wasn't allowed to burn DVDs anymore. Well, stay tuned. Oh. <laughs> we all know the history of Apple taking stuff out and putting stuff into their hardware over the years. I mean, remember when they, they got rid of the floppy drive, and that wasn't, uh, you know, such a big deal. But, I mean, a lot of people complained about that. Then they added DVDs and CD players, but then they took that out because they decided that everything was going to be over the Internet. And, and I remember Steve Jobs deciding that they weren't going to license the uh, Blu-ray technology, I guess, because he famously said that it's dead. Everything is going to be downloaded from the Internet. And if you take a look at Netflix and, and, and Hulu, he was a good prognosticator. But there's just, you know, some things that Apple jumps the gun on. For instance, um, the uh, latest MacBook Pro. Uh, everyone's complained about the fact that it only has USB-C uh, ports. We can't stick little SD cards into it anymore. USB stick, that's dead, according to Apple. We put them back in our Hackintoshes, and because sometimes we, we still need them. And, and so, you know, uh, the frantics. We need to burn DVDs. Now, you can attach one of Apple's, uh, you know, extraordinarily expensive external um, DVD players uh, to do this, but, I mean, if you're building a Hackintosh, you can actually have an internal player, and you can buy one of the cheaper Samsung external players. With that being said, Apple had a software upgrade with its disk utilities. I can't remember which version of the OS. I think El Capitan, or somewhere along El Capitan, they decided that they were going to take out the DVD burning capability of disk utilities. Not that you can't burn a data disk of a, for a DVD, but you couldn't burn a movie disk anymore. I have no idea why Apple took that out. They still have computers around, like the old cheese grater Macintoshes, that can still burn DVDs, but now you can't burn a regular movie DVD on uh, either a Hackintosh with a DVD burner or your cheese grater Macintosh. Now, why why would Apple take that out? Maybe they saved a few pennies on some kind of, uh, you know, codec licensing, but this is absolutely insane. And one of the things that drives me nuts about Apple, and I did phone Apple to find out, like, how do I burn regular DVDs? And uh, the first two people I talked to on their, their help didn't really know how to help me. They didn't realize that this was an issue. They themselves had not encountered anybody complaining about this, and I'm the first person complaining about it, which is not um, very much of a surprise. The third person I called uh, recommended that I download this piece of software called Burn from uh, SourceForge, and I did that, and it works really well. You just start up a copy of Burn and drag your copy of the, your CDR file onto it, uh, and I can burn it onto a regular DVD, and I can use this on a DVD player. A DVD player that Apple's decided that no one should be using anywhere uh, in the world. Now, my computer upstairs has a different issue. It does not have a built-in DVD player. And I, so I bought an external one, but it wouldn't work. It, I couldn't play DVDs on it, and I couldn't figure out why. Well, with some research, I found out that Apple internally in the system only allows for internal recording and playback of DVDs. Getting your Hackintosh to work with an external DVD player, uh, that's maybe a little bit scary for some, but it's not that difficult. I'm going to show you step by step how you do it. Now, you do have to use terminal and you have to uh, change some hex values. <laughs> Uh, in a file, a system file. I, I'll take it a step at a time. This will allow you to use an external DVD player. First of all, you're going to need to get a um, hex value editor. So I downloaded this little tool from Suave Tech, O-X-E-D, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'll just download this file. And this is what it looks like when you download it. So now we have to get to the specific Apple file within the system folder to be able to change things. But I need to get to the hidden system folder. So the way I do that is to go to terminal. Let's just open up terminal. Now on, this is, I'm running this on uh, El Capitan and you have to do this in terminal, but on Sierra, uh, it's actually a simple keyboard command. It's just uh, a command 
shift period and you get all the hidden files open to you. But uh, using El Capitan you have to go total geek. So I'm going to copy this little bit of terminal text here and paste it in, hit return, and if I click on my main drive, then I'll see all these hidden files. And you can see system here is shaded back blue. That means it was hidden and it isn't any longer. So I'll click on library. Next, I want to go to frameworks, DVD playback framework. I want to go to versions, A, DVD playback. So this is the file that we're going to be adjusting. So don't, don't get scared here. Now, just to make sure that we don't screw anything up, I'm going to make two copies. So I'm going to uh, click the option key, drag to the desktop, and that makes a copy. Then I'm going to make another copy by duplicating that file. So now, uh, if I screw anything up with this, uh, I've got this as a, as a backup. So this is the tool that we're going to use and we need to grab some hex values out of there. So I've opened this up. Whoa, does that ever look scary? Oh my God, is that? <laughs> no, it's not. It's not scary at all. You just have to know um, how to use it. So I've got uh, two values and I will give you that information in the linkedy dos uh, below. I'm gonna search for a specific value. So I just go here and I go to the find uh, command click on find, I click on search type hex. I want to find and replace it with this one here. This hex value means that the Mac OS is looking for an internal DVD player. By switching it to this hex value, it will be looking for an external DVD player. Now, the downside to this is once you have done this, any kind of internal DVD player that you have will not work. So the idea is that this is for computers that are only using external DVD players. So now I'm going to just click on replace all. So it has replaced uh, this hex value with this one and I can save it. And then I can quit out of this and I'm not going to switch it around. This is just, I'm showing you. Then I can drag this onto here. Uh, it will ask me to authenticate, which I use my password. So that's all you have to do. Now what I'm gonna do is go back to this unhidden state here. And the way you do that is I'm going to grab this. And here I go from yes to false. That's all I had to change here. And I'm going to go terminal, bring back the terminal paste that in there, hit return, and bang, you can see that the system folder has been uh, hidden again. It's not a bad idea to run disk utilities and click disk first aid on your main drive. Uh, but other than that, uh, if you reboot this now, uh, your external DVD player will work. And hopefully Apple will stop taking away features that we still need. Ugh!